what is your vision for a smart transportation future? What do you expect cities or transportation to look like over the next 10 to 20 years? I think they will look very different <laughs> than <laughs> whatever we say. <laughs> very different from, <laughs> from what we have right now. <laughs> But I think it would have to be an incremental process. Like infrastructure is something that takes very long time to transform. Uh, so I think we're, start, we're beginning to see signs of the introduction of uh, more intelligence and more intimation to the system. But this has been going on for a long time. I mean, before we called the smart transportation, it was an intelligent vehicle highway system and then intelligent transportation systems. And then now we're getting into the area of connected and, and automated vehicles. So it has, it's, an, it's an evolution. Uh, but what we're noticing now with the kind of, the rate of change has accelerated a lot, especially when you had uh, big I, uh, tech, uh, IT companies get into the field and, and now it's not just a, a, a traditional civil engineering discipline, but you have people from computer science and new ideas and data and, and so on. So there are, the ingredients are there for a, a true transformation with the uh, cheap sensing and communication and, uh, and data and computing and so on. So we feel that the ingredients are there for a true transformation that would make transportation more a service than uh, it's just a private uh, property. You own a private vehicle and drive it where you want and whatever time you want. So we have to try to make the system smarter so that it becomes more sustainable and more efficient. Uh, I, I think uh, industry is going to change big, big time. Ownership of the vehicle might be different, who owns the vehicle and who drives it. Um, it, it might be completely different whether you build a garage in your house or not, so that, that, that might be different. The How you travel long distance with uh, things like, uh, there are several companies which are doing these fast trains which can take you intercontinental within 60 minutes or so. So that, that's going to change. Also, the, the reasons to travel might be different is with uh, people used to say that if you do video conferencing, you would be traveling less because now you can come, come talk to people. But what it did was uh, it increased the, your market space. So now you are traveling to more international locations because now you have ability to talk to them on a regular interval. So um, the other thing is like uh, if you if you talk to teenagers, they are not like uh, saying that we want to own a vehicle or not. The, the whole generation is more willing to take risk and accept autonomy compared to what our generation used to do. So uh, their, their outlook would be very different whether they want to own a vehicle or whether they want to even drive a vehicle or not. Um, the roads might be significantly different whether, uh, whether we, we need, are we doing more vehicle transport? Are we doing more aerial transport? Are we doing some, some mix of both the things. So I, I, I think uh, 20 years we'll see a, see a significant amount of changes and some of it would be driven by these innovative industries which pop up and just breaks the, uh, the, the typical type cost which is going on. The other big thing is uh, security and cyber hacking. Now you have all these autonomous vehicles. Uh, you have to have a very secure system that nothing gets hacked. Uh, uh, again, uh, there are places where you're talking about uh, can the data be uh, not owned at different servers, but can be owned by blockchain or something which everyone is using, but it is really secure. So how we store the data today would change maybe in a few years, and, and you're seeing already that people are moving towards that. So I feel that in the next five years, it would be a lot different for, for everyone in the field of transportation, and, and the skills we teach our students also would be a lot different. Uh, when we were taking courses, uh, there was not so much emphasis on, on, on picking up skills of computer science and all those things, but now it is like learning. Uh, learning WordPad would be, uh, uh, Word documents would be something similar to learning high-performance computing, so I think the workforce would be significantly different too.